Just starting the live. Happy Thanksgiving! Woo! Kelsey? Say hi. Thanksgiving in Colorado. Say hi. Hello. Hello, Dad, say hello. We're live. Who that? We're just live. Babe, say hi. Hello, hello, hello. Mom, she did all the cooking, thank God. Because I was struggling. Couldn't even make the lasagna right, but it's okay. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you all have a great time with your family. I'm glad my family's here. Woo! Aww. They flew all the way out from New Jersey to be here. I am so excited. To the outside world, she seemed to have the perfect life. Now, court documents reveal dark moments before the murder of a Colorado Springs wife and mother, allegedly at the hands of her husband with their kids at home. This is the story of Tashiana Blake, a vibrant 30-year-old woman who embodied the essence of joy, positivity, and laughter. As a devoted wife, loving mother, and successful realtor, Tashiana's life seemed idyllic. She was married to Dermot Blake, a 34-year-old active duty sergeant in the army. Their family appeared to be the epitome of happiness and stability, but tragically, this facade would be shattered when Tashiana's life was abruptly taken by Dermot in a horrific incident witnessed by their two daughters. What would drive an active duty sergeant, dutifully serving in the army, to commit the unthinkable act of taking the life of his wife and depriving his children of their mother? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Colorado Springs, Colorado. Nestled at the base of the majestic Rocky Mountains, Colorado Springs, Colorado, is a city known for its stunning natural beauty and outdoor recreational opportunities. Home to the United States Air Force Academy, Colorado Springs has a strong military presence, contributing to its patriotic atmosphere. Ashiana Blake, a resident of Colorado Springs, Colorado, was a promising realtor making strides in the area. Hey everyone, welcome to my first virtual open house for 6728 Black Saddle Drive. I just wanted to introduce myself, my name is Tashi. I'm Melissa. And we're going to be showing you around. She frequently shared glimpses of her family life on social media, expressing a profound devotion to her children. On her social media she posted, I'll do anything for my kids. My kids are my life. Tashiana was married to 34-year-old Dermot Blake, Dermot was a sergeant in the army. The two married in 2015, their marriage encountered turbulence, leading to them filing for divorce in July 2019. Court documents unveiled a distressing episode in the Blake household during the filing of their divorce. Police were summoned to the residence for a domestic disturbance, where both Tashiana and Dermot assured officers that the altercation was merely verbal. Despite this claim, someone at the residence told officers that Dermot hit Tashiana. Strikingly, no charges were filed following this unsettling incident, raising questions about what was really going on in this marriage behind closed doors. Remarkably, the two decided to work on their marriage, and the divorce case was dismissed by October of the same year. It appeared the two had worked through their problems, and according to social media, the couple seemed to be doing well and had a happy family. But just weeks after Tashiana celebrated her 30th birthday, an unthinkable tragedy would occur in the Drake household. On the night of February 20, 2021, police responded to a shooting report at a residence on South Circle around 1 a.m. Upon arrival, they discovered the lifeless body of 30-year-old Tashiana Blake. Tashiana's husband, 34-year-old Dermot Blake was promptly taken into police custody. Dermot himself dialed 911 and confessed to shooting his wife. Tashiana sustained six gunshot wounds, with an additional bullet embedded in the drywall behind her. The most harrowing aspect of this tragedy is that their two young daughters, aged seven and five, were eyewitnesses to the horrifying event. When interviewed by the police, the older sibling recounted being in her bedroom with her younger sister when the shots rang out. They rushed out to find their mother covered in blood. Shockingly, the seven-year-old revealed that Dermot was instructing her mother to apologize, and as Tashiana uttered an apology, she was shot in the head by her husband. Following Dermot Blake's arrest, the traumatized daughters were placed under the care of family members, marking a heartbreaking turn of events for a family that, on the surface, seemed to have it all. 
their 34 year old Dermot Blake is sitting in a jail cell here tonight. It's where he'll stay through at least mid December, accused of murdering his wife in front of their two children. Happy Thanksgiving. From social media, 30 year old Tashiana Blake's life seemed ideal. Her career in real estate taking off, her marriage loving. Babe, say hi. Hello, hello, hello. You'd never know Tashiana and her husband Dermot filed for divorce in 2019 and then changed their minds, remaining married. You'd also never suspect what would take place on February 20th, 2021. Completely shocked, over, overwhelmed a little bit walking and having them, you know, you can't walk to your house right now, like it's not safe. A neighbor of the Blakes told KRDO at the time she was barred from walking home and crossing crime scene tape. In their normally safe, quiet townhome, shots rang out. Tashiana did not survive. Her husband, Dermot, a Fort Carson soldier at the time, booked into the El Paso County Jail on first-degree murder charges. He was charged with child abuse, too. Court documents show that the couple's two daughters, ages five and seven, spoke to police that night. They told them they heard shots, and then they heard their mother telling them to come out of their bedroom. They saw their mom covered in blood in the hallway, while their dad told their mom to apologize. They then watched their dad shoot their mom while she said she was sorry. Dermot Blake called 911 after the shooting. His two daughters were placed in the care of family as they mourned the loss of their mom. Now, Blake has been here behind bars ever since. He's expected back in court in mid-December. He'll remain here, though, without bond, at least until then. Dermot appeared in court to waive his preliminary hearing. He was charged with first-degree murder, along with violent crime and child abuse charges as well. He didn't enter a plea and was sent to the El Paso County Jail without bond. Dermot eventually went to trial, a trial that lasted 10 days, and a 12-person jury in El Paso County found him guilty of first-degree murder for shooting and killing his wife, Tashiana Blake, in front of his two children. Following the verdict, numerous friends and family members took the opportunity during an emotionally charged sentencing hearing to address the court. I'm glad he will get life in prison, but that's nothing compared to what he did to his daughters. He couldn't handle that she was a bright fire that he couldn't put out, Kelsey Johnson, Tashiana Blake's sister, said. My sister was beautiful, may she rest in peace. Although Dermot Blake entered a plea of not guilty, his defense attorney, Daniel King, refrained from denying that his client shot and killed 30-year-old Tashiana Blake. Instead, King's defense strategy for 34-year-old Dermot Blake centered around asserting that there was no evidence indicating premeditation in the killing that occurred on February 20, 2021, in the couple's Colorado Springs town. Consequently, the defense sought a charge of second-degree murder or manslaughter, rather than a higher charge. Following approximately four hours of deliberation, the jury rendered a verdict of guilty on the first-degree murder charge and both child abuse charges. Dermot's attorney tried to get a mistrial, claiming the prosecutor failed to turn over evidence. He asserted that the prosecution had not disclosed over 100 gigabytes of Tashiana Blake's phone data, which supposedly contained information about a potential affair she was having with another man. King contended that a mistrial should be declared because if this information had been provided before the trial, it would have significantly altered Dermot Blake's defense strategy. Chastin countered, arguing that there was no discovery violation. He stated that the prosecution had twice provided the defense with the contents of Tashiana Blake's phone in spring 2022. Moreover, Kasten expressed skepticism, stating he found it hard to believe that the defense was unaware of the alleged affair Tashiana Blake might have had, if there was one at all. He emphasized that if any extramarital relationship played a role in her death, the defense should have been aware of it after representing Dermot Blake for over a year. The judge declined to order a mistrial, and Blake was sentenced to life in prison for the charge of first-degree murder, as well as two separate sentences of 12 months in prison for two charges of child abuse. What happened to Tashiana is beyond tragic. How could someone who's supposed to love and protect her take her life in such a brutal way? She didn't deserve what happened to her, and her kids should not have to grow up without their parents. Tashiana was a bright light who decided to try to make things work in her marriage, and unfortunately she would lose her life in the end. My condolences to her friends and family. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.